guys, my name is Crystal Alisa. Thank you for dropping by. Be sure to subscribe for more great content. This is the first video I am shooting in the new house and I am so excited about it. However, as you can see, I don't really have somewhere to shoot. So I've just like thrown a bunch of plants around me and I'm like calling it a set. So we are going to be figuring that out very, very soon. I did plan to use the smallest room as like my studio situation, but that is nowhere near ready. So just bear with me as we have like a yellow wall today and a gray couch, apparently. We're going to be painting eventually and then eventually everything will come together. So this is feeling very new to me, especially because I no longer have my skylight, like giving me direct sunshine. So that's no longer going to be an issue. I have a giant window here that's giving me amazing light. So I'm really into that. But I don't know if you can hear little children literally screaming at each other outside so that's going to be our new ambient noise which is fine considering the other side had like its own huge <laughs> unnecessary amounts of noise so pros and cons but I'm, I'm really liking it so far I thought I'd come and like sit down and do a moving vlog because I've been dilly dallying about doing it for a minute because initially I was very angry <laughs> because like I was very very upset and I didn't want to sit down and do a video with me just like venting but now that time has passed I've cooled down so much that I'm not even remembering the things I was pissed off about so we're just gonna like discuss the day and how it went so these videos are supposed to come in a certain order right so it was supposed to be the lock about a house tour moving vlog one where i showed you as close to an empty house tour as we're gonna get to this place and then um moving vlog two and then the first look at the house and then a talk through walkthrough of the house so i had a lot of very elaborate plans even when i was on the other side like all the things i was listing as like my top priorities when i move in here it's, it's literally laughable because everything has changed so drastically so yeah that's i guess today we're talking about the moving vlog to what would have been it so just like a sit down to discuss everything that happened this is sort of a part two of that moving vlog so everything is jumbled up but i will have a playlist with like all the videos as i continue getting comfortable in this space and transforming the space and putting money into renovating the space which has been happening at a faster rate than i anticipated for right now but then it's also been happening on things that are completely different from what i thought i would need initially so that is its own video the cost of renovations and all of that because i have gotten a bunch of quotations i have gotten quite a bit of work done already but today we're just going to be talking we're just going to be chatting and like catching up and like seeing what has been going on So today is the 15th of November and I moved in October 1st. So what happened on the moving day? I was too like nervous and like excited and like, you know, when you just have too much nervous energy. So I couldn't actually sleep that day. So I went to bed at like 6.30 with agreement with the movers that they would be there by like 8.39. The guys literally came like 10 to 8, which is amazing. Honestly, I cannot recommend my movers enough because they were so unbelievably amazing. That's part of the reason I had to do like this sit down video because I just wanted to tell you how awesome they were i think i mentioned before that i got the option of either using their truck only or using their guys only or using their truck and guys only and then using their truck and guys and having them pack and unpack me I ended up going for the last option just because the idea of packing an entire house literally when i moved from my bed sitter to the one bedroom it took me like four months to unpack and <laughs> that was like an eighth of everything that i had in this house so as you saw in like my um, walkthrough video this house is actually been filled by the things that i had in my previous house which is it's a bit ridiculous but also things are more spread out now so everything isn't like clustered into one room like in the last place my sitting room had to be my filming room as well it had to be like where i store my makeup it had to be the place where my everyday shoes were kept it had to be like so many things but right now everything has room to like spread out a bit so in the sitting room i literally only have my couch as a main big anchoring thing which is great because now the giant dresser that my tv was on in the other room is in the third bedroom which is like a closet filming room like just a just a vibey room you know and then i got the giant bed for the guest room which wasn't there in the other house but my bed went into the master so you see like different things have been spread out so it gives the illusion of me having like way too much stuff but i don't think i have that much stuff like there's still gaps in this place like someone said that in a comment and i really appreciated it because everyone is like don't buy anything else but then like i need a dining table i don't need one i don't need one in 2020 but i will eventually be investing in a dining table so I get the concern that I'm going to like clutter up this space too much but then I feel like it's still it's gonna be necessary everything that I have is like functional I don't really have decorating things except for like the greenery 
um yeah anyway complete <laughs> complete detour went to bed at 6 30 movers were there by like 7 50 they started packing and they were done packing by like 10 30. the only thing that delayed us a little bit was the tetris games that we had to play in order to fit my house into their truck because obviously they knew we're moving a one bedroom house a 30 cubic feet truck would be more than enough <laughs> it very nearly wasn't they actually what i love about these movers is that they think outside of the box so they actually called an uber and that's what carried um some of the movers to this new house as well as some of the things to this new house and then a lot of the stuff was also not a lot and then some of the stuff was also packed into my car so we were like 100 percent full 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 when we left that place and i really enjoyed my experience with them like from the moment they started they were also polite they were also chill like everyone was just happy to be there and it was just like all good vibes you know like no no one was like fuming or no one was like oh this girl is such a mess or you know i just didn't get any like judgy vibes from them they came in i was told that i'm not gonna lift a finger i made sure to clarify that so they're not like expecting me to do something and then i'm not doing it you know so i was told that my whole job was to just exist in the space that they would pack me and unpack me and i don't need to lift a finger and that is exactly what happened on that day and i am so happy like this was such a stress-free move that i think whatever the cost ended up being is definitely worth it so one way that i made sure to like earn sort of that like positive rapport with them is like at some point they had been working from like eight until ten and i saw this is quite a bit of work they're doing because it's like back and forth lifting and packing and moving and discussing and like tetrising and everything so i was like let me get everyone drinks at least i'll need drinks for the rest of the day so i went and got everyone one liter sodas so this is all adding up by the way to like the total cost because the total cost ended up being a bit more than i had intended than i had anticipated but you will see that each thing that i spent money on was a hundred percent worth it so there's nowhere that i could have like cut costs so like taken shortcuts or cut corners or anything like that no so there were four movers plus a driver so five of them plus me six i went and got us one liter sodas that's about a hundred bob so that's about 600 bob already spent and i thought it was important to get the one liter so that it's not something that you're finishing there and then when you get to this other side i have to go look for drinks and something else for everyone and then i will mention that the total cost of moving was sixteen thousand shillings so eight thousand had already been paid before as a deposit and the other eight thousand was paid that evening Evening. so now we are at 16,600 shillings so I thought that 16,000 shillings was fair based on how it was broken down for me so if I was to only hire the truck I would pay 6,000 shillings just for the truck and the driver if I want um, four laborers for the day I would pay about 6,000 shillings for them if I only wanted the laborers and I had my own truck so if I was able to get a truck from my uncle then I would only pay 6,000 shillings to the company for moving right but this time that I moved I wasn't able to get a big enough truck to like handle everything in one go so I ended up getting their truck and and their movers that's 12,000 shillings then the guy was only charging me 3,000 shillings for packing up my whole house and unpacking it on the other side so literally that's such a steal that I couldn't say no so I could have brought the cost down from 16 all the way to 12 but then given myself like a six month long headache so that brings us up to 15,000 shillings right now on the other side I had eight shelves that had been put up on the wall and on this side I knew that I would only want four installed so taking down all those shelves and putting four of them back up was an extra 1,500 shillings which I thought was fair so that's how we ended up at 16,500 shillings in total for moving so 16,500 plus 600 for like the drinks that brings us up to 17,100 right and then when we got on this other side because I had been talking to the tenants like um all through the day well not really all through the day from the previous day because keep in mind this is a Thursday that I was moving here we had initially discussed the moving out on a Sunday they were unable to they were supposed to move out on Monday unable to Tuesday unable to Wednesday unable to so they're actually moving out on Thursday morning so what I told them is that one way or another I've already given notice I've already basically been evicted from this place like there's no way I can keep delaying this move so on Thursday I'm in I'm in figure it out and they did because on Thursday morning they were moving out of here as I was moving out of there does that make sense so I was informed of this and told that there might be a bit of overlap and they just asked me to like be patient with them because the guy was out of town so his wife was moving out of here all alone and I think he sent like his family or someone to help her because uh, we found a bunch of people like here moving but I feel like on some level they didn't actually think I was moving in on that day because it seemed to me like they started packing that same morning which is 
which which was not <laughs> funny at all so we ended up finishing like finishing tetrising and like fully packing and everything at like 11 30 in Lokabete. and it took us about an hour and a half to get here which is insane like the, the road and the traffic and just this yokimau area and just that that traffic is not your friend at all so by the time i got here it was about 1 p.m and they still were not done packing they were not done packing to the level where nothing of mine could start coming in because i was told at least the front rooms would be cleared out so as they are coming out i can be bringing stuff in and you know the best part about it is is that my grandparents had left um taita really early in the morning so they were actually here before i had even left Loakabete. so they're literally just like finding somewhere to like sit and have something to eat as they waited for me so i really wanted this process to like move on as fast as possible but also there's only so much rushing you can do when someone is moving so when we were still at Loka Better before we left, I actually went on Jumia and checked around for a food place that delivers to this area. Luckily, there's a pizza in that's been open like right next door. So I was able to order a couple of pizzas. Luckily, there was a pizza in and luckily it was a Thursday. So there was an offer. So I got a double like buy one, get one free for the movers and then buy one, get one free for my grandparents and I. So at that evening, we don't like have to cook and worry about dinner and all of that, which was so incredibly convenient. But now I I ordered it there because I had to wait like 30 minutes for the, the truck to leave and the Uber to come and just everything to be sorted. So it took me about an hour to get here, but it took the truck because it was going slower, about an hour and a half. Um, Yeah, so I ordered it as I left there. Now, when I got to the bypass um, South B area, I don't know if you, <laughs> if you know it, when I was like 20 minutes away, the pizza had already arrived. That's another cost, by the way. So we're going to add 2,500 to the unplanned moving cost, but it was necessary because it's 1,200 for each pizza about there and then delivery. So now we're up from 17,100 to 19,600 shillings, which is super fun for me who is obsessed with my budget, right? Uh, but but again, it's necessary. These are not things that I'm going to sit here and say, oh, if I had known better, I wouldn't have spent that because not having to cook on that moving day really, really helped everyone's nerves. Like everyone just like sort of relaxed a little bit as well as I didn't want my movers to just be sitting around waiting, like hungry, just waiting for the day to end. Like I didn't want the dynamic between us to shift to that impatient one you know so i was like you know what you guys just chill enjoy the lunch like just give them a few minutes and hopefully they'll be done soon so about an hour later is when we were finally able to start moving into the house but then it was a bit more stressful for me because i had ordered the pizza in Loakabete. it arrived here before i actually arrived here so i had this strange number calling me telling me i'm at the gate so, okay so the confusion was i had ordered the pizza and then i think forgotten so when the person so when someone calls me and tells me i'm at the gate I'm not really understanding so I was just like just wait for me I'm coming right so um I get another call that oh I'm at the gate and I'm like I've just told you wait for me I'm coming and then I get a third call now the third call was a uh, black forest cake house because like I had mentioned before it was my niece and my granddad's birthday and we didn't get to celebrate together so I promised them that when they come to Nairobi the first thing they will eat is cake that's another 3,000 shillings just disappeared like that because I have to keep my promises right it's not like I can just be like like, oh well i'm moving so the money has evaporated so tough shit right it's that's not how this works now on top of that 19,600 we're adding 3,000 shillings that brings us up to 22,600 and a bunch of people calling me whose numbers i do not have because i had saved um the head movers like the team leader i had saved his number but also the other people who had come in the uber were calling me because they were getting lost mind you i'm driving at this point i'm driving on the highway my license has been packed into the pack so I don't even have it so the last thing I want to do is be stopped by a cop at some point I just stopped answering my phone because I knew I was 10 minutes away then when I arrived is what I said calling everyone back the pizza guy had come and been sent away because he'd come here before my movers he would he knocked on the gate and he was told by the people packing here that we don't know anything about it but the lady who lives here is in another house because the people who lived here have moved to another house inside the estate so they would send him to that house and then he would call me when he's there and tell me he's at house x when he's supposed to be at house b right and i'm like why are you at house x i have told you to go to house b because i am thinking that i'm talking to the movers meanwhile the pizza guy is not identifying himself and he's just like okay fine i'll go back then he comes back here and he's told again we don't know anything about it the person who you should talk to is at house x right so it was just a bunch of like confusion 
and back and forth and i was like you know what i'm not understanding you let me just get there because at this point i was like 10 minutes away right so i arrive i ask um the moving guys have you called me he's like no i have not called you so i call back the first number it's a pizza guy he finally comes to the right house i call back the second number it's the cake guy he finally comes to the right house i call back the third number it's the uber guys and apparently they'd gotten lost and like missed the turning and i'm like i don't even know how to explain it to you so what you can do is just get off at the stage there and walk into the estate because it's like five meters away like it's not a big distance but they decided to like go round and round and round and find a way for the cars to enter and then yeah it was just a whole a whole thing and this is on top of the house not being ready to be moved into so i was just grateful the pizza had arrived the movers could like chill and start eating and like relax a little they still had their drinks from earlier so i didn't need to stress about that the grandparents were also here and they had no idea what was going on because again i couldn't answer their calls when i was driving so now i'm like updating them i gave them the pizza at least they had like a little bit for lunch and then we had the rest for dinner and then um the moving people are not really communicating anything because it's looking like they're beginning to move now that we have arrived which was insane which is why i think i was extra upset about all the trash that was left lying around so yeah i think i mentioned in the previous video that the back area was just left completely unusable what i realized happened what what hit me literally yesterday as i was cleaning the cabinets is that i think they had chickens in that um makeshift structure they had built right the problem is the structure had been built at the back so it had never come through the house at any point so it couldn't be removed through the house it had to just be demolished at the back now the person they had sent to demolish is the same guy who built it so he was asking me why don't you just keep it and i'm like i don't have chickens fam that's not that's not part of my lifestyle <laughs> you know so um he was like salty about having to demolish it because he's like i put my whole heart into building this blah 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 i'm like fam i can't like i i can't have this conversation with you it's this is not my problem right so he demolished it and then he left it and i think they expected him to carry it with him so when i was telling them there's like a whole lot of trash at the back they were like oh um the trash day is saturday today is thursday so could you just put it out and then it'll be taken meanwhile i am thinking how dare you ask me to put my hands on mabati like like frayed mabati and nails and whatever like how dare you ask me to do that when and this is in the state you found the house and you leave it in the state that you found it in right but they didn't quite understand i feel like that's where there was like a failure in the communication so when i sent them the videos and the pictures of what it actually looks like then they were like oh my gosh yes we'll send someone to clear it out tomorrow right so that was sorted out the very next day and i'm very grateful for that but there is still like random trash around so there's like a beer bottle somewhere literally right now there's still a beer bottle somewhere it has been six weeks since i've lived here but i've been away for three of the weeks and now that i'm back i just don't want to start with trash like i need to make the inside of the house livable before i can like sort out the rest of it so i have not yet tackled the little bits of trash that have been left lying around but at least the majority of it was cleared out so yeah i think it's the chicken feed that was the powdery dirt in the cabinets because they were moving in such a hurry that they didn't have time to like clean up after themselves so i just i i didn't initially understand how dirt can build up to that level but it, when i when i went away for the three weeks and i saw my grandmother's chicken feed and that it's powdery and there's maize in there and there's this and there's that and then i came back and i saw this then i understood that oh yeah this was just a storage place versus like malicious dirt <laughs> you know like i think just everything was really high that day and i just that's why i didn't want to have this conversation on that day because i've been cursing people out but everything has been sorted out and yeah so back to the day so what happened is eventually they left and i was able to move in and the movers were so efficient literally in a few hours they had me fully unpacked and what i loved about them is that you could feel like they were unpacking you the way they would want to be unpacked so nothing was just being thrown around things weren't just being like scattered everywhere like i found them like arguing in the room like what direction should my headboard be because you wouldn't you like to sleep when it's facing this way no i prefer sleeping this way like it's actually something they're putting like their hearts and souls into and that i really enjoyed that one thing that happened was the big pink shelf of shoes that i have was put in the guest room and i came and and i found the guy like arranging them like literally he'd put shoes there and then like step back and like visualize and be like is this how you know like does this work is this a vibe you know and then i was like oh my gosh this looks so cute oh my gosh it's in the wrong room like i was so sad that i hadn't clarified where that specific shelf went because it was taking up a lot of the room in the guest room and especially with the super king bed going in there i knew that i couldn't just like let it slide right i had to insist that it goes to the right room but i didn't even have to insist i was just like i'm so sorry 
sorry just take down because it was too big to fit like standing through the door so it had to like slant which means all the shoes would have fallen off anyway so i was just like you know i just remove all the shoes put the shelf i will arrange your shoes i am so sorry that you wasted your time doing this and he was like no don't worry about it what do you mean wasted my time so when i went and came back i found that they had put it in the correct room and he had rearranged the shoes all over again and no complaints no attitude shifts no rolling of eyes like i got no bad vibes from them and i was just really really impressed by the service i saw how hard they worked i saw how they put like their whole hearts and souls into the job like i i, I genuinely appreciated their service and i know that the costs were getting out of hand already and also this move isn't happening when i'm feeling my richest right because i still have to pay back the at least part of the deposit for the tenant and i have to pay for all of these other things and it was just it was a bit of a financially strained time for me but i didn't want my temporary brokenness to like stop me from really appreciating them for the work that they did because i knew that looking back on it when i'm feeling a little bit more financially stable i would feel bad if i didn't appreciate them in that moment so i decided to just like strain myself a little bit and like give each of them a thousand bob extra just like as a day bonus for like just thank you for what you've done because i appreciate the crap out of you and yeah that brings us up from 22700 to 27700 so my initial cost for the day was 16500 which i was perfectly fine with now we are 27700 which is quite a lot and it's not all movers and it's not like no one forced me to go over budget but i definitely think each thing was worthwhile so the other little things that i did was i had the electrician come out and put in the shower head immediately because i knew on that very same day we would all need a shower like grandparents had been traveling on the road for five hours and they hadn't even gotten a chance to like relax and that's another thing i loved about the movers when i introduced them to like my grandparents and i explained the situation that we're all just waiting for um the people to move out the first thing they brought into the house like as soon as they were able to reach it was a couch and they set it up so my grandparents could come and sit as the rest of the house was being done like little considerate things like that really go a long way with me and i just i really really appreciated them and i really cannot recommend them enough like francis and his team francis i I think is like the owner of the company he's the one i was talking to to set everything up edwin was a team leader of the team that came to handle me absolutely amazing cannot recommend them enough super friendly super like informative just free with the information like he told me what size of truck i'd need even if i wasn't going to use him he told me my fridge 100 percent needs to be transported upright even before i like booked with him which i think that that's just that that charitable nature is just really good right <laughs> so uh, shower head had to have it installed immediately um speaking of the fridge the fridge could not fit in the kitchen as it was so there were some shelves on the back wall that were preventing it from being like flat because when it's flat then you can't actually walk into the kitchen so it was sideways like this so we could actually pass but because it was sideways it couldn't be off so what i realized like towards the end of the movers moving is that they had turned it on my panic levels shot up through the roof because i was like this thing is supposed to be off for like two weeks i had initially planned to literally leave it off for two weeks and only make use of the deep freezer yeah someone has turned it on so um when i asked them like why, why is this on because it's not supposed to be on they were like yes it's on because it's closed because if you leave a fridge closed and it's off it will sweat and spoil the wiring so they turned it on but i was like no i don't think that's a good idea because it's literally one day i'm gonna have these shelves removed tomorrow so i turned it off but before i did i had the idea to stick my hand inside and see if it's actually like working like is it cooling is the air inside colder and it actually was cooling and working perfectly and i was like oh my gosh this is so strange because maybe there's actually a chance it can stay on who knows uh so i turned it off because it was sideways and completely blocked off and unusable anyway so the very next day i had a carpenter come in and he removed the shelves that were blocking that area so that was another 800 shillings so now we're up to twenty nine thousand with the 500 for the electrician and then 800 for the shelves 
29,000, my fridge is flat on the wall. And I decided, you know what, it was cool yesterday. It's been like 24 hours. I think it's the day after that that I decided to just turn it on. And it's been on ever since, and it's been working perfectly. So that kind of negates my need for the deep freezer. But at the same time, I'm really glad I left it off, like before the move. That I still think is very, very necessary because if it was in the truck being bumped around and the gas was still loose, like I think that could have been problems. But now my deep freezer sort of lost one of its justifications like why i got it but at the same time i do still want to like buy things in bulk and freeze them so i want to get like a hundred pre-made samosas just waiting to be like deep fried and then enjoyed you know but i can't fit that in my fridge so my freezer is definitely going to be in use and it was in my kitchen until my dishwasher came so dishwasher video is already up you've already seen it so there are a couple of changes in the house since that moving day but i think for the most part that is it so my actual move ended up costing 29,000 instead of 16,000 shillings but I think every single penny that I spent was worth it one might ask me crystal did you not get someone to clean the house because that was initially one of the main things that I needed to do right why are you cleaning cupboards a month later because I brought someone let me tell you the actual conversation that happened I called the estate manager and asked her to send someone over to start cleaning the lady comes in I take her to the kitchen and I tell her all of these cabinets because the cabinets were really really dirty but just the kitchen as a whole isn't that big so we didn't have anywhere to store the dishes as we waited to clean the cabinets so they had to all go inside and i was just like you know i just put them all inside then i'll have to wash everything all over again right even though i had moved with clean dishes i would have to wash everything fine part of the reason i was so salty about the state of the house that time so i bring the lady i take her to the kitchen i tell her i want you to all these dishes remove them wash them wash the cabinets put them back inside how much for that oh you know usually we clean the whole house before people move in i'm like okay i've already moved in you're not cleaning the whole house these dishes remove them wash all of them wash the cabinets put them back inside how much oh no you know i need to see the whole house for me to tell you i need to see the whole house for me to know if i'm calling someone <laughs> like fam the house isn't even like done yet like we're not sure where everything is going to go like we're not ready for the rest of the house to be cleaned i just want the kitchen to be clean so how much for these dishes no you know the people who call me usually have your own budget so you tell me how much you want to pay me and i'm like you're the one who does the work i cannot tell you what to charge me so tell me what you think would be fair for all of these dishes remove them wash them wash the cabinets put them back inside no you know i have to see the rest of the house for me to know if i'm calling someone like circles we're just going around in circles and circles i literally left <laughs> i left her talking to my grandma like see if you can get through to her because i literally cannot even my grandma gave up on her she just took her number and she was like you know what if we need you we'll call you just go so the next day after that my granddad was just like you know what let's just do it ourselves right so he was excited because i have the ramptons vacuum so he was like i can be vacuuming you guys do everything else right so we started vacuuming like halfway through the sitting not even like the whole room halfway through the sitting area the vacuum dies like what even is this i was so <laughs> so annoyed because that vacuum was supposed to like be the most handy thing because of all the powder even in the cabinet i was just gonna vacuum everything it decides to die and mind you i don't have any broom because that's part of the things that i left at the other side like just in case the new tenants like needed something but also i was like i want to come here with like fresh beginnings like a fresh start and i don't think i bought a new broom in like five years so it was already basically dead anyway like i just i had no broom basically and my vacuum is dead we're mopping but we can't mop a dirty floor because the place was actually very very dirty so it needed to be vacuumed and then mopped and then dried and then we could like place things right so my grandma actually just volunteered herself to go look for brooms because she'd been wanting to get brooms from day one but i was like no we have a vacuum it's so much more convenient <laughs> shock on me so um yeah i will just give an update on that vacuum i finally had it fixed like yesterday it didn't cost too much to fix like 1200 for the parts and then 500 for the labor so about 1700 shillings but apparently there's some brushes that had gotten finished so i guess that's a thing with this vacuum is that the brushes will get finished and there's no warning about it in like the manual there's no warning about it like on the device itself it just goes dead and completely refuses to come back on so i don't know how much i would recommend this vacuum knowing that like i just wanted to like warn you guys about it in advance but yeah 
yeah that wasn't fun so yeah we just ended up sweeping and mopping and doing a first arrangement of the sitting room and that's what you saw um in my silent walkthrough of the house because i was just like everything being placed like experimentally as we're trying to decide like there's a bunch of things even now i'm looking at them there's still a bunch of things to like be sorted and ordered just things that didn't really have a home so i told the movers to just like put it down there then i'll figure it out myself right so yeah yeah i think we are we are now up to date i think this is what was supposed to be part of my initial moving vlog but then i realized this would make the video way too long so i thought i'd just come and do a sit down chat of everything that happened that day um also i will mention that i was so wrong and my fundies are everyone's fundies so i will be leaving their contacts down in the description they told me they travel literally across the country doing work i'm just lucky that um i have their contacts and they're willing to come and they come so quickly that i thought they were localized but like they're not you actually Actually, you call them and tomorrow morning they come to you so um yeah i will be leaving the contacts of all the fundies that i have used down below because they are honestly the best <laughs> amazing i call them for like emergency situations uh, yes yeah, so the next video in this series is like my getting settled and like getting used to this house and like tweaking the things that bother me so i'll show you the shower head in that video as well as the shelves coming down in that video but the carpenter that i found to do that is actually he was he told me recently he was a site manager when this place was being built but that doesn't make him a localized fundi he travels like all the way to bungoma to like install fittings and kitchens and all of that so we are working on a plan to like completely revamp that kitchen of mine that i am obsessed with i have my pantry shelves actually put in as of literally i think friday and i'm so excited it was a hundred percent worth it just we're making good progress on the transformation and renovation but i don't want to get ahead of myself with like all the excitement and keep bringing videos out of order so my next video i think should be my getting settled video and in that i talk more about how lucky i am to have found him because he's the same person who paints he's the same person who's going to fix all these holes in the wall who's going to sort out the water issue i think he's even the same person who's going to do my water tank because i was so wrong i thought i had 2000 liters up there i have 400 and something 460 so i only have 3460 liters total in this house and not 5000 so that's something i definitely want to remedy so i haven't talked about the different plans that i have for this house that is part of the talk through walkthrough video that i want to do but at the same time the plans keep changing because i have always wanted an open kitchen but now every time i look at that kitchen wall i'm so grateful that it's closed i'm thinking for now it's because it's a mess in there but i'm i'm waiting to see once the kitchen is beautiful will i want to open it up yes or no so things keep changing literally on the daily instead of getting that shower head that i was so so desperate to spend twenty thousand shillings on i got a quotation from my electrician and pulling the electricity to the master shower to make it an instant one would be another ten thousand shillings so it would be a thirty thousand shilling shower whereas i can fix the house's water boiler for four thousand shillings so i think i'm definitely going to be doing that because till today it's been six weeks i still haven't had tub time i am so sad that i have not been able to soak myself in that tub because there have been days that have been so stressful i cut my finger i mentioned it in the dishwasher video it is healing now but you can still see the skin is like peeled and it's just it's it's a mess and then i had to get a wisdom tooth removed like a week ago and it's just been such a stressful time so even me shooting this video on a sunday it's just because i did not have it in me to shoot it on any other day like i've just been so tired and i wish i could soak myself in that tub but the idea of boiling 16 million kettles just to put in there to heat the water is not very appealing so i think i will be fixing the boiler in order to have a direct water heat source to that um yeah so another thing i wanted to mention here is the deep freezer that i bought does not need to be off before transportation so um i was moving on thursday so on monday i called francis the mover guy and i asked him do i need to turn off my deep freezer like a few days before he was like no those ones are fine you'll just unplug it in Luakabete and plug it in in Tsuyokimo. and i'm just like oh my gosh yes <laughs> that's amazing so if you are on the fence about getting a deep freezer i think it is a hundred percent worth it if you're moving it's the easiest way to transport all your foods without them going bad so yeah i think that's pretty cool um i think that's it i think i'm done for this video i don't want it to end up being too long i'm so sorry if it's already long because i know i've been shooting for quite a while but i just wanted to bring you all of the information i was away for three weeks so i wasn't able to shoot this video before now and now these three weeks that i've been back is when i'm actually feeling like i'm settling into the house and like things are sort of falling into place so i'm getting a lot more comfortable here so hopefully the talk through walk through house tour will be coming up but 
let me know if you'd be interested in that or if you've seen enough house tours for now and we should just like focus on the pantry which is coming together i'm very excited i'm i'm creating little moments that i love in this house so i posted um in my community tab that i created a coffee station that i'm obsessed with which is now being made irrelevant because i'm cleaning my shelves and actually putting things on the shelves which is amazing so yeah there's a whole there's a whole process to this and i feel like i'm going okay i'm gonna mention this in the budgeting video which should also be coming up <laughs> at some point but um i am creating a budget for this place so i had already created one before that's like a projected budget for it i think this house would cost me per month and i am somewhat right but then a few things are tweaking so yeah we're gonna be renovating one project per month starting january so i don't want to like over invest too much now because i do want to build up my emergency fund and like be sorted there first so yes i think i'm just gonna end this video here i keep talking and talking and talking because i love hanging out with you guys but i'm just gonna stop shooting this and immediately shoot the budgeting video because i don't know when i'll get a chance to like sit down and chat with you guys again also i haven't gotten dolled up in a minute so i went kind of overboard with this and i want to make the most of this makeup while i still have it so yeah i'm gonna end the video here thank you for hanging out thank you for dropping by be sure to subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think of the chaos that is <laughs> apparently my life so thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in my next video